Good morning, everyone. My name is Shane, and uh, it's a pleasure to be at Webit. This is my third year at uh, Webit Congress, my first time speaking, so I'm very excited to get this opportunity. So this morning, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, what I believe are the two critical factors in success for trading media in real time in this programmatic era that we're experiencing. I think it's fair to say digital marketing has experienced uh, an incredibly um, divisive phase of change over the last three, four years. <clears throat> I believe there are two key factors for any, um, let's call them techno media buyers that exist out there today who, who are ultimately trying to reach the same KPIs that historically, historically they have done with um, traditional ad tech, let's say. And both those factors are equally important. In fact, they're intrinsically related. The first is access, so sufficient access to relevant amounts of supply um, in an economically viable and operationally sensible fashion. The second is then intelligence. So if you solve the access problem, and you can guarantee access to the right type of inventory, whether that be display, mobile, video, it doesn't really matter. You can then begin to focus on what actually is important as an advertiser, as a marketer, and that is getting the right message to your customer. So the great David Ogilvy in 1963 said that an advertisement is like a radar sweep constantly hunting new prospects as they come into the market. Get a good radar, keep it sweeping. So, <clears throat> while I think the definition of radar technology is something like uh, an object detection system which uses, I believe, radio waves, today's media buyer, or again, techno media buyer, their, their tool set is the metaphor for today's tool set is, is probably something like a fishing net as opposed to a radar system. So more object deflection than detection. <clears throat> and the task faced by today's technomedia buyer is definitely non-trivial. The, the reach they're trying to achieve is Inherently the same, you're still trying to reach human beings, but the landscape has changed dramatically. And why is that? Well, it's a vast ocean today compared with 1963. Users are on many channels, on many devices. The reach ocean, as it were, has expanded into not just display, video, and mobile, but also addressable TV, audio, formats being delivered over programmatic channels or technology, and very soon, I believe, digital out of home, although we're not quite there yet. So there is a, a major transition underway for today's all-important techno media buyer, and that is, how do I address question number two? In other words, how do I focus more on intelligence, on injecting real-time valuable data about my customer when I encounter them in a programmatic bid stream? How do I take the focus away from you know, the question of access? Frankly, today's techno media buyer wants to have access commoditized on their behalf. They don't want to have to focus on securing the right reach anymore. <clears throat> so we, we at IPM Web increasingly began to hear this from our own customers, um, I guess about two years ago, where they were saying to us, when I think about scaling my business globally, you know, the more I think about it, the more insane it becomes, because it's not only operationally huge in terms of uh, what I need to do to, to think about regions, geo, uh, hardware clustering, and so on, but economically, it just does not make sense. And so we brought forward this system, uh, this, this service, if you like, 
the idea of which is to give a single point of access to the wider programmatic RTB ecosystem. Now, some of the raw figures are, are quite, quite staggering. By the end of this year, we hope to be listening to um, roughly 50 billion bid or impression opportunities on a daily basis. Roll that up into a monthly figure, it's 1.5 trillion bid opportunities. That distills into a QPS figure, which you may be familiar with the, the acronym queries per second, which is a raw measurement of you know, how hard a machine in the cloud can work ultimately. That's a figure of 580,000 QPS, which means you need to be making smart, or in order to make smart decisions, you need to be understanding who your user is, where they've come from, what you know about that user, intelligent decisions, you, you need to be doing that 580,000 times per second. <clears throat> the great visionary or luminary Robert M. Metcalf proposed around the year 1980 that the power of a network is proportional to the square of the number of users connected to that network. Now, while there is definitely some inherent truth in that statement, um, I believe it doesn't tell the full story. If we look at the economics further of this, this task of scaling your programmatic business globally, cross-continent, and we take uh, a figure put forward by Magna Global Research last year that will experience nearly 3x three, three growth by the year 2017 in the programmatic industry, in the, in the programmatic ecosystem. And we times that by our figure of 580,000 QPS, times that by a fairly cursory estimation of what it costs to run a box in the cloud at 1,000 QPS, and times that by 12 for, for a year, we come with a figure of nearly $5 million. This is $5 million per annum just to figure out who's out there. This is before you even serve an ad. So the economics, as you can see, are you know, staggering. They're, frankly, nonsensical. And so what Metcalfe's law doesn't actually explain is that whilst in principle, the idea of scaling a business through users alone philosophically is attractive. And many of the dot-com businesses that fail around 99, 2000 very much you know, pin their hopes on this idea in the belief that costs, infrastructure and hardware costs, would at most increase linearly, whilst if they focused on growing the user base, they would create and continue to create inherent value in their business. Um, what they didn't realize was that, you know, Ultimately, that cost, they would cripple under that cost eventually. So for every Yahoo and Google, there are you know, dozens, maybe even hundreds of pets.com, boo.com, um, and so on. And these companies you know, failed for ultimately the wrong reason. The reason being they did not have the information or the insight that infrastructure should be something that ultimately you outsource that needs to be commoditized so that you can focus on your customer experience. So in the cases of those companies, they were not focusing effectively on who their customers were, how they were buying on their, on their sites, what the user experience was like. So many of the sites were flashy, uh, slow loading times, and so on. And so they were doomed to fail. So let us not be doomed to repeat the same fate as we evolve as a programmatic industry. Let us focus on what's important. Let us focus on what it takes to deliver the right message to your customer. Because let's face it, the programmatic era brings us an opportunity like never before. And that is the ability to be close to your customer, to personalize your message. Intelligence itself, unfortunately, is an entirely different presentation. That's it for me for today. Thank you very much.